Yo, what is up guys? So today, I uh, got some more goodies in. Uh, can't help myself, so we got some, some mods, mostly simple, uh, until we have that next package come in, which should be in at any moment. Waiting on Amazon on that one. But for now, let's go ahead and put some of this on. All right, so I got a headlight cover today. We're going to switch that up and take off the white one and put on a yellow one. So that's pretty cool because I'm going with a completely different look as far as the plastics go. I got the same hand guards I got on there already, but these are going to be black and also got the side covers that are going to be black, the side covers that had not come in yet. So we'll put those on. It's easy mod. Uh, the chain guard with those rims, I didn't really care for them too much because it, the chain guard was a little too close to the tire. For my comfort, it didn't hit, but uh, it's a universal chain guard. Nothing really special, but it's red, so uh, we'll see. It might look cool. Uh, and then um, DRC 400 graphics kit. Really, it's like half a graphics kit. It's not gonna be the whole thing, but some of this will go on this and possibly on the side of the bike, so we'll see, but yeah, we're gonna slap that on this at least. So that's really it for that. And then once the Amazon truck gets here, I'll have a big surprise for you guys. A power surprise. A powerful surprise. So, like I said in a previous video, uh, I got the same color plastics, just brand new. So we're gonna go ahead and put these on. And just a note, when I do ride off-road, probably a good idea for me to switch back to the original plastics. So I can tear those up off-road and then these will just look clean for the Supermoto. So let's go ahead and put those on. Oh, and uh, I got these in black, but I'm waiting on those to come in. That's a coronavirus shipment, so it's gonna be a while. So, might not be this episode, but you probably just see them pop up out of nowhere on the next episode. So, for now, we're gonna leave them on. It's not gonna look much different, but it's gonna be real cool. We gonna put on new plastics and I'm gonna take you to school. I'm gonna adjust the seat too while I'm at it. Remember I said the, uh, the damn seat kept popping out? I think I'm gonna try to like lunge it forward. If that's a thing that can happen.
Wait, no! Hold on, what the? Hey! God damn. Yes, ma'am. I just wanna make sure we, we wasn't going too far. I don't know if it's on your truck and I just saw you was like eight. Yeah, that's it. And instead of you having to back up, I, I figured it'd make it easier then. Yeah. You gotta take a picture of it? No, you missed the mark. I said, yeah, you can take a picture with me, proof. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, actually, you can go ahead. I see you have to come like in the yard. Oh, okay. I was trying to save you from walking myself, but I'm all right. In the area. Cool. Thank you. I have a good one. You too. Dude, that drone was still in the air. I forgot about that thing. Unboxing. Straight out the straight out the van. Boy. That's gonna be sick. All right, so we got the new plastics on, look good, make it look like a brand new bike. Got this on, that was a pain. Uh, with the yellow and the black, these are coming in, but looking good so far. But the big part of this video that I wanted to show y'all is what I had just got in the mail, chasing down the Amazon lady. So. We got a new throttle cable in red. Oh, well, Mark, what, what made you get a red throttle cable? Why? You, you already have a throttle cable. You just wanted it red. No. I got a whole new carburetor right here, boy. And I think that I can make this fit and make this bike wake up even more. Yeah, we did the carburetor mod, but that's an old style CV carb. Nothing special, kind of just mediocre carburetor. This carburetor, y'all might hate me because I'm pretty sure this is Chinese. I couldn't get a direct answer if it was or not. One website said Italy. I don't think so, but apparently this is a really good quality carburetor, even if it is Chinese. So, you know, if you want to go buy a Makuni or a Kian, fine. Don't hate me for buying this. It was at a good price and it seemed like it had good quality. It comes with some jets and stuff like that. So if this works and I decide to change my mind and I want to get a Kian or a Makuni, I can do that. But for now, I think that this is going to look sweet because of the color and the coating that's on this carburetor. But also it's going to wake this bike up even more um, because it's like a flat slide carburetor. Uh, PWK is what it is. 32 millimeter is the size. So hopefully it fits in the boots. If not, I'm sending it back and I'm ordering the right size. But this was a guess, so I'm just really hoping it works. So if we take a look on the inside the box, instructions, stickers. The brand of this carburetor is called a Nibby. I'll put the link in the description for it. But so far, everything I've looked up on it says it's a pretty good carburetor. Like, there's not a lot of bad talk on this carburetor. So, I went and bought it. I got some jets in here. That's neat. And the carburetor itself is looking pretty sweet. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Packaged really well. All the boring looks really smooth on it. I mean, dude, this thing is actually pretty sweet quality. And it has red on top, like, I'm not disappointed in this one at all. I think this might be the key for the DR200. It's pretty sweet. So, get that shot too. I'm thinking, uh, let's put it on. Take the old one off and hope it fits. This one's probably about 55 millimeters. But like I said, if it's not the right size, I think I got the right size. If it's not, I'll order a new one. And also what's good about this carburetor, um, it has uh, quality control marks on it. So that's a, definitely a good sign. Uh, got quality control marks all over it. So that tells me that there's actually quality control. So I, I can't find anywhere where it says made in China but I don't know, I, we're gonna have to see. Is it a good one or not? 
first, let's take this carburetor out. Fall now, girl. Sweet. Four. So it's a little bit bigger on this carburetor on the on the air filter side, but the same on this one. So yes, I think I got the right size. And this is Lincoln gas, holy shit. So before I put it in, we're gonna slip this inside the carburetor. Spring a laying day. And I'm not gonna mess with any jetting at the moment. I'm just gonna put this thing in. And then if I gotta take it back out and play with the jetting, I will. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can fit it in there. I think that air filter side might be a pain, but fuck the air filter side. If I gotta get a uni clamp on air filter, I'll do that. Honestly, I might just see if this sucker will start. <laughs> I might just put some gas in it and see what happens. Holy shit, dude, that's so much more responsive. Are you kidding me? Wow. There's no lag. There's no lag at all. Whoa, that's gonna work. I gotta get this right, but that's gonna work. Dude, holy shit, this is gonna be a beast. And it started right up. It's, it started right up. I mean, no, I gotta, I gotta tune it, yeah, but I mean, I'm talking, I push the button and it, what? Cool. I gotta run this throttle cable through here. Okay. Fish that through. Now I gotta plug it in. Old throttle cable out. New. No, I was afraid of that. It don't fit. I gotta get a new throttle. Well, the throttle cable assembly that is on for your throttle stock DR200, it does not fit with this throttle cable. So I'm gonna order the Nibby handle to where that throttle will work with that. I'll order that tonight. The only other problem I'm having so far is that this carburetor does not quite fit inside of the boot here. Fits perfect in the uh, intake side, but not on the air filter side. Now, it's not a problem. Worst case scenario, I'll just put a uni air filter on there and take this box completely off. However, I wanna use this box and keep it stock if I can. So it's not a, a big difference. I think I can slip it on there. It's just gonna be a tight squeeze. So I'm gonna try to work that on, but if not, I'll buy a uni air filter instead of the uh, stock air filter box. So we'll see on that. But so far, I just put the carburetor in and barely tightened the boot on the intake side and the bike started right up with the jetting and everything that came from the box. Now I'm sure I'm gonna have to tune it because no, it's not running great, but so far if you just do this, that's the carburetor straight out the box. Now if I had a throttle cable, I'd be able to do this a little better, but it's not running the best, but it's running pretty damn good considering. And, and, and just from that, I know I can just feel how much more responsive this carburetor is gonna be on this bike. I thought I tuned it well with the uh, CV carb. Nah, this is going to shit on the CV carb. This is gonna make more power out of this bike and I can feel it now. 
we'll find out for sure whenever this is all said and done, but I got a good feeling this is gonna wake this bike up even more than what it already was. So far, I mean, that's the only problems I ran into. I think I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna order a new throttle assembly from Nibby tonight on Amazon. And when I get that in, we'll finish this video. And I'll put all the links in the description for everything I'm doing here. So, so far, this is fairly easy. You know, you gotta have a little patience with it, but I slapped it right in and it's working. So that's awesome. I guess I'll catch y'all immediately because time is different when you're watching a video, but I'm gonna go order some stuff on Amazon. I'll be back in like two seconds, but it'll probably be two days. So uh, here we go with the parts. Well, that was a quick two days. So I uh, put the other throttle cable on and I ordered another one, but in red. Two different brands, cause I didn't know which one I would like more, but this one's pretty neat. This one's all aluminum, so that's pretty cool. The other one is uh, aluminum and plastic, but uh, we'll see which one I like better. I think this one's a little more of a shorter stroke. I was debating on whether I could keep my stock airbox and I really wanted my stock airbox. So I thought that I may had to have used a pod filter, but um, in fact, I don't think I do because I was able to make this carburetor fit. It's a little shorter than the stock car, but I squeezed it in there, evened it out and it actually works and it holds well. So the bike is doing fine with that. So I don't think I'm gonna use this cause I'd rather use the stock air box to keep dust and debris out instead of these pod filters, which uh, I don't trust. But there's that new throttle, new grips and a little bit of fuel line because I needed some fuel line. I think this is another pod filter, but a different style. Oh no, more fuel line for different projects and a K and N air filter, pod air filter. So don't think I'm gonna use it, but I'm gonna keep it cause you never know. So that's pretty much what I was waiting on, but really this was the biggest thing. Oh, also I took this completely off the bike. This is the cap for the air filter. The carburetor's pulling in a lot more air without this. The exhaust took the baffle out, everything. So hopefully it's just flowing a lot more out. So a lot more in, a lot more out. And I put the biggest jets that came with that carburetor in the carb. So more fuel, more air, more exhaust coming out. So that whole combination seems to be working the best. And while I was out for those two days, uh, I did do a little tuning and I got it pretty damn good. May still have to mess with it a little bit, but for the most part, bike rides awesome. Definitely pumping out more power. It doesn't feel like a 200 anymore, so. So the jetting I used, I used the biggest jet that came with the Nibby carburetor, which was a 130 main jet. This is a 128. This is a 128, which was in the carburetor already when I got it. And then they had a 125 also. So I went with the 130 that was uh, the biggest one that it came with. Now I tried all these jets in different combinations and that's what I found to work the best was the 130. And then also for my pilot jet, I used, it came with two of the same pilot jets. So I really didn't have much of a choice on that, but it did work fine. This is a 32 and the one that's in there is also the 32. Now, just for the sake of trying, I had this jet laying around and it's a 45, which was really big but I tried it anyway and it didn't make a whole lot of difference. So I just went back with the 32 that came with the Nibby carburetor. So 130 and a 32 is all I did. Um, and, and that's really it as far as the jetting go. And I did try all of these jets in the biggest, in, in all configurations for the most part and tuned it. And what I ended up with best at my elevation this might not work for everybody, but my elevation, which is about as low as you can get down here in Louisiana, I went with the 32 and the uh, 130. This is the Nibby throttle. So I, that's the same brand as the carburetor. I did buy this one, LSD trip. I'm guessing that's what that says on there. That's the brand. So it wasn't a very expensive one. I bought it anyway, cause I could use it for a different bike, like my mini bike project, which if y'all ever want to see that video, I uh, may start working on that, so uh, get a shot of that, actually. So I don't think I'm gonna use this one. It is all aluminum, which is nice, but some of the reviews were like, eh, eh wishy-washy. I don't know, I mean, it is, it seems nice quality. The cap comes off, so if you wanna run um, hand guards, I mean, that, that's pretty nice, because the nibby one, I did have to cut with the saw uh, to run my hand guard, 
but I, I think the black look is a little better because this is not quite the same red as the rest of my parts. It will work. It's the same size and everything, and it's pretty much the same style with the wheel in there. But I don't think I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use the nibby one that goes with the actual carburetor. But I'll, uh, I'll put links for both of them in the description. So, that being said, since this one's already on, I'm gonna put some grips on it, and uh, we'll be good to roll. Okay, maybe this thing sucks d So, this is what a lot of people think they need to use. I mean, it works and definitely makes a grip stick, but you don't have a lot of play time with this, and I always end up like messing up when I try to put gl grip glue on, because it's essentially super glue. So, what I find works, some people put soap, but soap, when it dries, it takes a while and it might still move. Get you some hairspray, because it will go on and slide right on. And then, when it dries, it gets super sticky. So, try not to get it on my hand too much. And don't let your girlfriend know that you have it. This actually has grip glue on it, so that's another thing. It's a pain in the ass. I mean, a pain in the ass to get grip glue off. And if they do give me any problem, and start to shift around with hairspray, what I'll do is I'll just pull it back a little bit and drip some grip glue in there, and on this side too, since I'm gonna cut it. So I'm sure y'all wanna hear this. I'm gonna uh, probably do another video on actually riding the bike and how it performs, unless we get to that in this video. But I just wanted to show you how it runs and how it sounds with everything I've done to it so far. So. You got the cap off for the air filter, the baffles out the pipe, the aftermarket FMF pipe. The jetting is pretty much the biggest jets they'll go, which I think is a 30, is what it came with. And the new carburetor. Just so you know, a cold start. That's the header, grabbing it, still holding it. Cold start on this bike. Starts right up. It sounds pretty good. Now, let's rev it from cold. Well, we'll let it warm up just for a second. So. So. It actually runs pretty good. Now, I still am gonna fine tune it, but you know, if you've ever messed with carburetors, tuning is like a week long process. You get it as good as you can, then you ride it and you just fine tune it here and there until you just tweak it perfectly. It's almost a never ending process, but eventually we'll get there and we're already there pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with it. The bike doesn't sputter, the bike doesn't backfire, all it does is give me pure DR200 power, which, you know, yeah. But it is a completely different bike, I will say that. Compared to a bigger bike, maybe a 230 or a KLX 250, it's, uh, it's pretty close. I wouldn't say it's the same, but it will give it a run for its money. All right, so that's pretty much a wrap for the DR200. I really don't know what else to do with it. So if y'all got an idea, Put it in the comments, let me know. I mean, give me some ideas. If you wanna see something else done to it, let me know and I'll probably do it. So let me know. 
on that. Also, if y'all want to see another project, I have a mini bike I need to finish. I have the DRZ 400, I have a TW 200, I have a KX 100, and I probably will end up selling one and I'll probably end up buying a new bike. I mean, if y'all want to see a modded lawnmower, let me know, holla at me. But uh, anything else you guys want to see, just let me know in the comments and peace, peace.